Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel. 34 times the Booster Club has been called upon and 34 times they've answered. Join the team today and help send the prophets around the world. 12 tribes worldwide. Shalom. I can't get enough for this word. Call me library. All you do is talk. I tell them read. I'll be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'm a teacher. I let the laws tear. You read about your doctrine. Can't believe I even fell for it. No top models, no need for worries, cause God got us See masculinity need to be shown for real And all of you that's cross-dressing would be dressed to be killed Apollo Creed, but I'm hitting like I'm Holyfield You counting sheep, but you the high lean, the type to flee This for the meat, when the battle won't, they gnash their teeth I can't believe I even fell for their hypocrisy Like it or not, it's Kwam Yasharala Laws attached to the brain, do blah obligata we are not the same over here, we walk with giants yeah, Ten toes, toes down, down with the clairs mixed with iron I can't get enough for this word, call me library All you do is talk, I tell them read, I'll be your ball bearer As long as my hands clean, I'ma teach, I let the laws tear You read about your doctrine, can't believe I even fell for it Continue for too long. You know that? It's been over 500 years that our people been oppressed. Come on. Taken into captivity. Come on. Given another name. And we don't even we don't even consider why we in these conditions. That's right. We don't even consider that we the greatest people that ever walked this planet. Right, right. But you've been brought to a lower state. Why? Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 17, and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge in the law of life for inheritance. That's your heritage. Right. You ain't a Johnson or a Travis or a Williams. Your heritage is this Bible. That's right. When you search your heritage as a so-called African-American, you only go back to slavery. You know that? They don't teach you that you rule Europe. They don't teach you that you went through all the lands and 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 and, and was an example of godliness. That's right. You know that? Before, that's right. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Because let's see why we in these conditions. Let's see why we are destroyed as a nation of people. You know that? It's because we don't want to keep God's laws. Right. Right. Hey, brother right here walking up. You know your heritage? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You don't care, huh? Our people do not care. You know that? We walk up and down Fifth Avenue, up and down Minnesota with no purpose. Right. Read. You know that? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So You got a few minutes, right? This is the greatest information you're gonna get today. What's your nationality, bro? Take that fire real quick. What's your nationality? Yeah, I'm asking you a question. Okay, okay. So you you a so-called black man, right? Okay, where did th where did that come from? No, you cannot. So you can turn, you can walk up and go home and come back as a so-called white man. That's what you're saying. No, you see, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. But you said you wanted to learn something. Well, we didn't go to school for theology. That's right. But you but you don't know what I believe in. You haven't gave me an opportunity to explain. 
Listen to this. Listen to this. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy God. If you read the Bible a thousand times, you should know you are the greatest people on this earth. You should not be walking up and down these streets with no purpose. For too long our people been destroyed. That's right. You went to theology school. You went to theology school, right? I asked you a question though. I asked you what's your nationality? This is the most important thing you all learn. So you read this. Read it again for him. Listen, bro. Just listen. Read it again for him. For thou art in the holy people to the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. What does it mean to be special? You know that? That means you are different from everything walking on the face of this planet. That's right. That's why when you're not living godly, you get treated the worst. That's right. Because you are different. You're not supposed to be smoking cigarettes. Right. You're not supposed to be whoring out your women. Right. Right. You're not supposed to be rising early and getting drunk. Right. Your job is to be a light to this world. That's right. Brother, you got a few minutes. It's Saturday. It's the Lord's Day. How much can you be doing? You know that. Stop wasting your time in foolishness. Right. Brother, behind you, listen. Three. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, y'all at that transit station, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know the Lord said, you are above all people. That's right. That's right. There's no equality in the Bible. That's right. That's right. Equality is man-made. Right. You will not find that in the Bible. You know that? But I made a statement. I said, we the greatest people. But while we ride on the light rail train, when you see people riding around with $400,000 cars, but we the greatest people. But what happened? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. You know? We lost our name. We lost our heritage. Our history. You know that? That's what happened. Read that for me. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it up. The ox knows his owner, and the ass is master creel. You go to a donkey, you go to an ox, they know where they go to get their food. They know where to go uh, to their master. Right. How come we don't know that God is our God? You know that? He's not the God of everybody. That's right. How come we don't know that? We've been destroyed. Read. But Israel does not know. You see? You live in Bible prophecy. Just by not knowing your name, that is Bible prophecy. That's right. Calling yourself African American. Right. Calling yourself Hispanic. Bring it out, huh? Native American. You, know that? you will not find those names in the Bible. That's right. But everybody believes in the Bible, though. Everybody believes you know? in God. Right. Come on. What's really going on? Go back to Deuteronomy. That's what's going on. We in the curses. Right. That's why we cannot catch a break. Our own people, the police, these other nations. You know that? We can't get no rest. Come on, huh? But we the greatest people. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So, just like you don't want to listen now, you didn't want to listen back then. That's right. Hey, brother, right, we talking to you, bro. Why don't you want to listen to God? You know that? Why do you want to still do your own will, bro? What's wrong with following God's laws? Let me talk to you for a second, bro. What's wrong with keeping God's laws? I got a question. I see you got that cross, right? What does that represent? That's what I said. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 2864. Did you know that under, yeah, come over here, bro. Did you know under that image, our people was destroyed? 
You know that's a graven image? So you believe in God, right? That's, you know that's not godly, bro. Right. That's not godly. Teach, huh? Listen to this. You know the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. Bring it up. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the end of the earth even unto the other. When you, have you, when you look in this world, every country, every state, every city, where are the so-called black people? Where we at? Do we live in the suburbs? Do we live in the high, the, the, the best neighborhoods? Or do we live in the ghettos and the slums? We live in the ghettos and the slums. Read that again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the end, from, excuse me, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So, believe it or not, that's another God. When you got to America, from uh, off those slave ships, they gave you another God. Let me ask you another question. When you look at these two pictures right here, which one is Jesus Christ? Which one? On the far uh, left? Okay, how can you prove that though? I can't prove it though. Okay. You know what's going on right now? It can't be that God. It can't be that Jesus Christ right there. But, but guess what else came with that? That cross that you got on your arm. Right? Yeah. Come on. You know that? Come on. That's what it came with. Right. When you see people walk around, they got the cross with Jesus on there. What do you look like? He looked like that, right? They claim to be. That's who they claim him to be. But that's not Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm going to show you Jesus Christ. Give me that, Revelation. Because for too long, bro, what's your name? Rondell, all praise. My name Rafai. Good to meet you, bro. For too long, our people have been lied. We've been destroyed. And it's because we don't want to seek out who our God is. We, we, we sit around and we ask why, why, why. But we don't never pick up the book and see why. Right. right. But I'm going to show you a few things today. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the root word of revelation is revealed. The reason why Jesus Christ had to be revealed in the last book in the Bible is because we have been lied to. We've been destroyed. Right. His image has been tainted. Right. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he signified it by his angels unto his servant John. So his servant John, that's who he sent it to. Jump down to 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one unto the son, excuse me, one like unto the son of man. Hey sister, come deal with us. We trying to show you the son of man. And that he is your ancestor. That's right. He does not pertain to everybody. That's why they had to change him. Right. Because if you've seen a black face every time you thought about Jesus Christ, that would destroy some people. Right. Yeah. Read. You know that? Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What's woolly hair? Like that. That's, that's right. That's right. You all the way right. That's right. We got woolly. Do everybody got woolly hair? No. Does that picture have woolly hair? No. So what is that? Straight hair. That's a lie. That's, That's a lie. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes was as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned and they burned. So not only was it brown, because brass is what color? Brown. It was burned in a furnace. So he was darker than me. So what we going through the same going tribulation, crown tribulation. Because we don't know who we are. That's right. Huh? We discontinued from our heritage. When they took that image down and put that up, that was a discontinuation from our heritage. Right. That's what that was. And then what else did they do? They punished punish so much for what race we is. Right. Hey, brother, right here. Come on, let me deal with you for a second, bro. Because we trying to show our people who they are. What's your nationality? Well, white people trying to deal with these aliens. What's your nationality? We're allowed here. German and Irish. German and Irish? Okay. So, let me ask this question again. When you look at these two pictures, which one is Jesus Christ? Hey, brother, I'm uh, Rondell. 
Let me show you a little more, bro. Let me show you a little bit more. Because this image was given to us in slavery. That's right. Yeah. Straight. Well, I've, I've always been taught these ones right here. But it's what do they look? Do they, uh, read Revelations again. Matter of fact, just let me get uh 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 damn. Cause we gonna see what the Most High God looks like, and we gonna see what His Son looks like. That's right. You know what? And what did God say in Genesis? Let us make man in our image, right? Right. So that means that these images are going to look just like the people He made. Read. The book of Daniel chapter seven and verse nine. Bring it up. I beheld till the thrones was cast was cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and his hair and his head like a pure wool. There go that word wool again. So the Most High God, the Ancient of Days, has woolly hair. Yes, right. That's right. So where did this image come from? Uh, give me uh, 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 Job 9. I'm going to show you where this image came from. You got people that's ruling this earth today that changed his image. That's right. That made him look like something. And, and I know we're just talking about a picture, but imagery is everything. Right. That's right. Come on. You, you know who Chadwick Boseman is, right? The Black Panther, right? Did you see on Facebook all those little boys crying when he passed away? That's because we don't have imagery. You know that? We don't have an image of a real superhero to, to, to uplift our people. Right. To give us confidence that we can be something better than a nigga selling drugs on the corner. Right. You know that? Read. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Bring it up. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. When you look at U.S. Bank, when you look at uh, Bridgewater Bank, all these uh, rich corporations, who run them? Is it black people? It's the so-called white man running it, right? Read that again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They run it because the earth was given into their hands. You know that? Read. He covereth the faces of the judges they are. If not where, and who is it? So it say he covered the faces of the judges. So he went from being black to white. And now it's asking you, if it wasn't the so-called white man who did it, who did it? You know that? Did the Asian man turn Jesus into a white man? Did the East Indian man, the so-called Arab, he would have looked like them, right? You know that? The so-called white man did that. He destroyed you. He's the wicked man on this earth. That's right, sir. And we must learn who we are. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know, there, there's wicked people in every nation. Give uh, Malachi real quick. There, there's wicked in every nation, but there's a nation of people who's wicked. Meaning from the, from the, from the lowest of them to the highest of them, they're all wicked. You know that? That's what the Lord said. That's why they changed the image. Right. No, we the, we the greatest people, bro. Yeah. That's we right. God's chosen people. We invented so much stuff they took from us. Right. Why you why you think we invented it? Because we the greatest. There was no sewer system before us. There was no aqueducts. But the Bible is a true book because it told us why these things would happen to us. And then it, ha it happened just how we thought. Just how it said, I mean. Read that though. The book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Where is Start at 2. Start at 2. Verse 2. Uh -huh. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? What's the Lord said he loved you. He loved you. He don't love everybody. I'm going to prove it. He don't love everybody. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the only people on this planet Earth that God loves. That's right. Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. The Lord God loves you. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. 
He does not love everybody. That's right. Read that last part again. And I hated Esau uh -huh. and laid his mountain in his heritage waste for the dragons of the widow. Believe in the Bible? So the so-called white man, Esau, he was the one who put that image up. He the reason why we, when we look at each other, we hate each other. Right. God hates Esau. Bruh, let me let me show you something. Wax him. Give me a uh, John. Oh, I'm seven years old, but it's never too late. Just go back to the normal too. Absolutely. Because bro, what you gotta learn is why so why why was this all able to happen to us? Let it happen. Did we let it happen? Let it happen. Why? You know that? Why? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. This is why it happened to us, bro. Don't let nobody tell you it was just coincidental. It just was, oh, you know, it was just, this is just how it is. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to affirm to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God said we have to listen to his laws, his commandments. That's why you see all these people walking up and down here. They ain't trying to listen to God's law. That's why they destroy. That's why we cannot get a leg up in this society. Come on. Because we do not want to go to the divine source. That's right. We want to do every little thing else. We want to listen to LeBron James. We want to listen to this person. Bring it up. Hey, but what they've been paid to do. Dribble a basketball. They can't tell you your history, your heritage. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because we don't want to listen. That's why the white people always got up messed up on this TV and all that store so Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. But it but we, like you said, we, it's our fault. We didn't want to listen to our God. Come on. We wanted to look at the other nations and live like them. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.